I want to show you how to take derivatives of exponential and logarithmic functions with any base. Uh, to start with, I'm just going to pick a specific number. Let's say instead of e to the x, say that we wanted y equals 2 to the x. And how can we figure out the derivative of that? I want to take advantage of the fact that we already know the derivative of e to the x. And so here's the trick that I want to do. I want to rewrite this as e raised to the power of natural log of 2 to the x. So you see e and natural log are inverses of each other. So I haven't changed anything by taking the natural log of 2 to the x and exponentiating it. And if you remember your logarithm rules, I can actually pull down this x to then get e raised to the power of x times natural log of 2. And the reason why I like this is while I didn't understand this function very well, this is now um, composed of things that I can take the derivative of. So I now want to take a y prime. And since 2 to the x is equal to this expression here, it's good enough for me to just take the derivative of e to the x times natural log of 2. And in order to do this, I can use the chain rule. I've got my outside function being e to the x and my inside function uh, being x times natural log of 2. So when I use the chain rule, um, what I'm going to get is uh, the derivative of the outside is just e to the x and then plug in x times natural log of 2. And now I multiply by the derivative of x times natural log of 2 and that's going to be the natural log of 2. And that is the answer. Let's clean it up and make it more presentable. I want to bring this x back up into the exponent, e to the natural log 2 to the x, everything times natural log of 2. And e to the natural log of 2 to the x, that's just equal to 2 to the x. And I'm multiplying it by natural log of 2. We like to write those constants in the front of the function. So this is completely general. It works for any base other than 2. So if you have a base, any number bigger than 0, I, I just mean base because that's the number you're, you're then exponentiating. So you can consider like y equals b to the x by completely the same reasoning. The derivative is going to be natural log of b times b to the x. So that's the general formula. How do you take the derivative of a constant raised to the x power? And if you go back to thinking about e to the x instead of 2 to the x, this formula still works because you're going to get natural log of e, which is equal to 1, times e to the x. So this is what we call a generalization of the formula a derivative of e to the x equals e to the x.